Our universe could be pixelated, and you may have heard that those pixels are one Planck length across, but it's not that simple. So the Planck length is one of a set of Planck units. These are units built from the fundamental constants that describe our universe, the reduced Planck constant h bar, Newton's gravitational constant big G, and the speed of light c. Now using dimensional analysis, you can combine them in various ways to get any combination of mass, distance, and duration, the three fundamental mechanical units. For example, the Planck mass, which is the square root of the reduced Planck constant times the speed of light divided by Newton's constant, is around 21 micrograms. And you can do a similar combination for a length. The square root of the reduced Planck constant times Newton's constant divided by the speed of light cubed gives a distance, and it's about 1.6 times 10 to the negative 35th power. So unlike the Planck mass, the Planck length is very small. But 21 micrograms isn't the smallest possible mass, so why on earth would anyone think the Planck length is the smallest possible length? The answer lies in what happens at that size. See, there's this fundamental limitation on the knowledge of quantum mechanical systems called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. It essentially dictates that you can't simultaneously know both the position of something and its momentum to arbitrarily high precision. If you increase the precision on position, you necessarily decrease it on momentum. And this isn't a technological limitation, it's a fundamental one, arising from the notion that quantum mechanical systems are better described as waves. So imagine you were to try to measure something smaller than that of the Planck length, with uncertainty similarly small, so that you can confirm it's definitely smaller than that size. Well, then the same system must have a momentum that has an enormously large uncertainty. But the only systems that can have such large uncertainty are those with extraordinarily high energy as well, approximately equal to the speed of light times the momentum uncertainty. And so making such a measurement requires that you are concentrating that large quantity of energy in a region the size of a Planck length. But from Einstein's theory of gravity, it's precisely that degree of energetic concentration that will cause a black hole to form. And once you've done that, well, you can't look inside anymore. The mere act of trying to measure something with a length smaller than the Planck length creates a black hole which then obstructs you from learning anything about that thing you were trying to measure. And so we just can't learn anything about distances smaller than that. Now, does that mean that the Planck length is the pixel of the universe? Not necessarily. It's possible, of course, but it just as well might be a functional minimal size, even if the universe is actually continuous rather than discrete across energy scales. It's hard to say for certain, and it's possible we'll never be able to know the truth, but the only way we'll find out is by continuing to do good science.